Hi guys, I'm making this video to address a couple comments I got on my 4090 versus 7900 XTX video I made looking at this game. And hopefully so that maybe it can be informative and maybe teach someone something new. So on that video I used the 7800X3D with the 4090 CPU. And I used the 5900X CPU with the 7900XTX. So one comment was that they wish that I'd use the same CPU. And you know what? That makes sense. I, I don't blame uh, the person that said that. And then another comment was saying that if I'd used the same CPU, then the results would be much closer. So on that video, the 4090 was about 28% ahead of the 7900XTX at 4K native which is what we're running at right now, 4K native, high settings. And yeah, it, it wouldn't have mattered. The results would have been exactly the same as you can see here. So there's a reason why I did that. So my, my 4090 PC with the 7800XCD is a real pain to take apart and replace the GPU, right? The way I have my 4090 mounted, my, um, my, my, the way my cables are ran through the case, the adapters and everything, and the type of case that it is. So every now and then I make an exception when I have to take apart the PC. But right now I wanted to do it to pretty much prove a point and why I did that. And the point is that if you're GPU bound, right, it's not going to matter. Yes, the 7800XCD is a faster gaming CPU, but it's not really by that much. It's at 4K in a very demanding game like this, it's not going to matter. I mean, it's kind of like the people who demand 4K benchmarks when uh, reviewers review CPUs, right? It doesn't really make much sense. So that's basically why I felt it was okay to use a 5900X because I knew that I was 100% GPU bound okay so and as you can see right now right we've, we've been um, this game's been running for about five ten minutes because I, I had to edit some parts basically to make it match and also fast forward a little bit is that the frame rate the averages and the one percent lows are exactly the same and the reason is that we're GPU bound the 7900 XDX is not fast enough to for the CPUs to become uh, the limiting factor now, on top of that, even with FSR on, the 7900XTX was still CPU, uh, I'm sorry, was still GPU bound. That was the limiting factor. If you look at the other video, the 4090, however, became CPU bound. So the 4090 still had more frames to give, but the 7800X3D wasn't fast enough to make that happen. Uh, and if you look at that footage, the 7900XDX and the 4090 are pretty close together in frame rate when you enable FSR and DLSS. And that's the reason why. Which is kind of interesting in itself because it, it actually shows you that the 7800X3D is not as much faster as you might think. Although I don't know if this is like an Unreal Engine thing, but that's besides the point, right? You can see here that the 7900XDX is running at 100% drawing 400 watts. I haven't manually overclocked it. This is out of the box settings for the 7900XDX. Now, you can't see the power draw on the 7800X3D system. Unfortunately, I think that's a bug with my motherboard. Uh, Daniel Owen actually has the same, pretty much same setup as me. And our DNA 3 GPUs don't show the power on his either. It's like that option's missing. I don't know why, but I can't show it it's impossible for me to do it but yeah as you can see we're running at a hundred percent so yeah we'll uh, we'll go on for another minute and then we're gonna jump into FSR so you can see that even with FSR enabled right the frame rate is still the same because we are GPU bound
All right, so now we're going to turn on FSR quality like I did in that video in this area. And we're going to see what happens with the frame rate. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same. Uh, I've done the best I can to try to match the footage, right? So the averages and 1% lows are still recording the whole time, whether I edit the footage or not. But it's just a pretty much show that even with FSR quality our frame rates are the same so we're gonna know gonna go for another another minute or two here and you'll see that there might be just like one percent difference on the average and one percent low sorry I mean one FPS difference but it's pretty much the same right in this area anyway because there are some lighter areas when you go indoors that you might become CPU bound. But the footage that I showed was all entirely GPU bound, except for the 4090. When I turned on DLSS with the 4090, that became CPU bound. So that would have been able to give us more frames if I had a faster CPU, but I don't. So yeah, if I do make a comparison, guys, it's because like this, it's because I'm pretty sure that what I'm trying to present is accurate right so that is why now if there is a game where I feel it's appropriate I might make the sacrifice and take the computer apart but if I don't feel it necessary I'm not gonna do it so yeah that's pretty much what I wanted to show here and um, I don't know I hope maybe a couple people learn something new and yeah That's it for this video though. Thanks for watching and if you have any comments, leave them below.